What's going on YouTube? This is Strobe Light and I am back and I got some pretty exciting stuff to show you guys today but first we're just going to start out with the little fish update. Um, he's steady tearing up all the plants out of the thing but one thing I have noticed that's been going on lately is that these snails have been multiplying like crazy which that's what I get for actually putting pest snails in my tanks just to kind of turn over the gravel but it's something I knew I would have to deal with and I've kind of figured out how I want to deal with it so we'll see about that but yeah let me see if I can find some there they are the little baby snails like that right there there's like hundreds of them though so I'll have fun cleaning those guys out and I've kind of got a I've kind of got a method I think I'm going to use. I think I'm going to take like my algae pellets and use them and it'll kind of bait them out and then I'm just going to scoop them up and then feed them to someone and that someone is going to be this guy and these other guys as well. But I did pick me up another goldfish just because I want more than two in my little aquaponics setup that I'm making which I'll show you guys in a second. But I scooped him up, and he's about the same size as my biggest one, just not as fat. <laughs> uh, and he's white and has the orange tail, and he's pretty cool looking. But I put him in here the other day, like yesterday or so, and I thought he was doing fine. He was kind of picking on the auto cats for a little bit. And then I woke up this morning and turned the lights on, and he, he had one of the auto cats in his mouth, head first. And it was just chilling. He was trying to swallow it, but it, it was too big for him. And so I scooped him up and put him in the breeder tank just so he doesn't try to get any more. And about 10 minutes passed, and he spit it up, and the auto cat was still alive. And luckily, he's still kicking around here somewhere, eating and whatnot. Which, that was uh, that was kind of funny and kind of kind of scary at the same time, because I don't want him eating all my fish. But we're here now, and... When I got him from the fish store, he was like in the tank with like some mollies or something or some guppies or I can't remember what. But they said they put him in there because he ate all the pest snails. So I've been catching pest snails and just dumping them in here with him. But I think I'm just going to, once I get the aquaponics going, I'm going to, um, what's, what am I looking for? Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm going to feed all the baby snails to my, uh, to my goldfish because I think they're going to be strong enough to actually break through those shells. Which would be cool. So there's that. And everybody else is doing pretty well. This little cichlid guy is awesome. I love him. He's doing very well. He's always active and everything. The tetras are doing fine. And my auto cats are fine except for trying to get eaten by uh, <laughs> the goldfish. And we are losing numbers in shrimp. I don't know what's going on with those guys. But I think we're down to like 4 or 5 out of 10. Most of the times I wake up in the morning and this big fellow right here is eating them. But, I mean, it's not that big of a deal to me. I can always get more. They're a dime a dozen. Actually, $2 for 10 10 <laughs> well, That's what's going on in here. And I will go show you the little beta, or the purple beta, right now. Alright, guys. We're back with this little guy. And he is doing better than ever, as always. Now, let me get the light to get a little bit brighter. He's doing pretty well. Let me see if I can get over here and get some more lighting. He's, uh, his tail fin has gotten a lot longer, I've noticed, in the past videos. But I haven't noticed his uh, body changing at all, uh, size-wise. But he stays fat and happy. And there, all the plants are doing well. And here, I did stick one of my nearite. There he is. I stick one of my nearite cells in here because there's a lot of algae growing all over the rocks and in the gravel and stuff. So he'll munch that down for me. And I think... I'm going to start cropping these sprouts or buds right here off of this java fern because they're getting really long and they're kind of an eyesore. So I'm just going to crop those off and plant them either in this tank or in one of the other tanks. These guys are doing pretty well in the Nubis. I moved, well, what happened was the Nearite pulled the Nubis out of the rocks because that's what they do and whatnot. And then we had the little pest snail here. But there's only one of him in here because... I don't need a snail explosion in here either. But everything's doing fine in here. Unfortunately, my spearmint on top kicked the bucket. I don't know what was going on with that. Maybe he didn't get enough light or maybe there just wasn't enough nutrients in the water. I don't know. 
But I did get some more plants, in a, but I think I'm going to put those in the aquaponics system. But this is the little tanks right now, and I have a surprise for you. So when I come back, I will show you. Yeah, he's still he's still up and at it, and always a he's a cool little guy. But yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am back. It's probably gonna be a little echoey in here, but this is what I got so far. And this is well. <laughs> Funny story, I broke the other 20 gallon tank that I was supposed to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job, strobe light. Good job. But I picked this 29 gallon, I believe, off of Craigslist or something. The guy was selling it with the stand and a filter and the light. I don't know how I feel about the light right now. It's kind of in the way. But I got this going. Got the gravel down. Got the water in. Got the pump on. And what happens is the pump's going to pump the water up through here. And this is the way I got it set up right now. I don't know if I'm going to keep it this way. It goes down in here. And, oh, this lighting is bad. Okay, we'll deal with it though. And the hose just goes up in here into some mechanical filtration. Just to act as a bed for, uh, just to act as a bed for, hang on. There we go. Just to act as a bed for the biological to grow. And then I got my clay balls in here still. Just pack this thing full. And then I have the exit right here, but one of the problems I am having is um, the exit, or I just put a bulkhead in the side of it and then had the t hose running down. Well, some of the problems I've had with that exit bulk bulkhead, excuse me, is that either one of these clay balls will get in there and uh, uh, clog, the, clog the way or it can't keep up fast enough. And I think that's just because all these clay, like I'll put this grate on it without this spacer and it'll drain fine for a couple seconds and then it'll slow down and this is about to overflow. So I don't know, I think if I kind of block off a space right here where it's nothing but water and there's no uh, clay balls to block it off essentially to restrict water flow, I think it's going to run a lot better so I'm going to try to do something with that and hopefully get that running and I'm going to go back and work on that and I will update you when the time comes so I'll be right back okay guys I'm back and I think I finished it or got it to work the way I want to so the problem before was this like the the exit bulkhead the output will get clogged up or the the clay balls would stop it from the water flow flowing too evenly through so what I did was I went ahead and put this on here so there's no there's no clay balls around the bulkhead whatsoever for like a good inch or so I wish this light would come back it's going in and out because IDK <laughs> And also to kind of like slow down the flow of this pump, I just put filter sponge around it and this would also act as another area for bacteria to grow on. So it's working pretty well right now. I think I'm going to give it a little bit longer just to see what happens because you never know. But I definitely need to fill this back in for something. So that's that. And once I get the fish in... I think I'll come back and give you guys that update. So, see you in a bit. Alright guys, I am back and we got everybody in here now. And I also put this little sponge filter just for extra filtration and also, uh, what's the word, what's the word, aeration, there we go. <laughs> I can speak English still. So, aeration on top. And we got these guys in here. So. They're still kind of freaking out because they don't know what to do with all this space. And I also went with a little bit bigger pebbles because I noticed um, in the 10 gallon tank they were starting to be able to pick up and almost swallow whole the little pebbles that I had in there. So I don't want to get one of those stuck in their mouth. So I just went with bigger pebbles this time. They'll still be able to knock it around and sift through it and whatnot. 
And oop, that's what I'm going to do with right now. I don't know if I'm going to add any aquatic veg vegetation or not because that might affect how things grow up here. So I don't know just yet. These guys are fine either way. They, they'll deal with it. So we'll see what happens with these guys. And I haven't planted any plants up here yet because I'm still trying to figure out what's going to be the best for this. But this is what I'm going to stick with for right now. This lighting is terrible. Give me a second. Let's see if I could hold this up. Maybe. 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 Oh yeah. That's a lot better. <laughs> Sorry. I should have turned on this light out in this room. But, as you see, the pump pumps it up into the intake, or the input right here. And then it floods the floods the planter, and then any clean water, quote unquote clean, will go out of the output and back into the tank through there. So that's the that's the plan for right now, and I'm still going to work things out, and I'll tell I'll take you guys along the journey because it's going to be one trying to figure all this stuff out and how I wanted to set up and whatnot but oops knock something over but right now all I have is time <laughs> get it <laughs> but yeah I got some German time and I think this is sweet mint or peppermint yeah peppermint and we'll see how those act I don't know if the mint's gonna do as well as I want it to since we have the spearmint problem that just went completely downhill <laughs> But we'll see what happens, and then I got like the indoor plant lights, which uh, I don't know, which is supposed to put off the wavelength that the plants like and whatnot. But we'll see what happens with that. I'm gonna rig that up. I'm either gonna get like maybe like a desk lamp or something that has a clamp and can just sit over this planter right here, or figure out something to do with this lamp. I don't know. Maybe get a taller lamp. I'm not sure. I do have a nice bowling pin lamp laying in my room, so I might use that. But that's the update on this. I'm glad I finally got it set up. This might all change here soon, but we'll see. Um, if you have any suggestions, please leave, leave them down in the comments below because I need as much as I can get. But it's a process, and we're getting there. And I'm glad I got these guys out of my tank now. That they'll stop pulling up all the all the plants and whatnot. But we'll see what happens. And I'm glad you are watching this. Because this is going to be a journey. But as always guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. It always helps out the support on the channel. Look at him. This dude right here is mean. He's a... He doesn't like anybody. He tries to rule the roost, but I think this one's almost... It's not as long as him, but it's fat as him. But anyways, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Back to the point. Please like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have any que questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. And I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. As always, guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time. Bye.